All right, welcome to Daddy Jack's Cold Water Blues. We got my main man Tommy. Works over at Copperwood Grills too on uh, off days here. It was talking about uh, this tequila. What do you call it? Tequila lime. Tequila lime chicken. Yep. Tequila, tequila lime chicken. Cinco de Mayo was yesterday, two days ago. Yep. And uh, so turn it loose, Tommy. Explain it a little bit. All right. Well, start out with your pounded out chicken cutlet right here. A little bit of blackening seasoning on there for some color. We'll flour that. I always start with the chicken. I take the chicken out of the pan after you cook it because you want the uh, the flavor from it in the same skillet. Uh, yeah. See? Hey, later. This one's going to be done over pasta. I did mine with rice and beans, but I a little water hot here for the pasta. Shot of oil, butter, I usually I just brown one side of it before I add the other ingredients. Pasta here is already par cooked, so it's not going to take long. So you get a good brown on that. Move it to the side. We're going to add a little bit of garlic. Got some uh, chopped jalapeno. I take the seeds out. Some people like the seeds in, but if you like heat, it's, uh, leave the seeds in. It'll make it even hotter. A little tomato in there. Take the seeds out. That's Yankee style. <laughs> they, they might hang you from the tallest tree down in Texas for doing that. Probably. Huh? Probably. But this is where we at. Very simple dish, very fast, but a lot of good flavor. Put pasta here. You want to leave the rest of the stuff in there so you can finish the sauce. Take the chicken out. Set that up right like that there. Now when you're cooking the liquor, this is very important. You want to take this off the flame before you put it in. Put it in. You can glaze the pan about a, about a shot, tequila. Let that go down a little bit. You don't want to burn your eyebrows off. A little bit more butter at the end. Lime juice. Yep. Yep. First squeeze lime. Yep. It thickens up and throw the butter in there. Pretty much makes your sauce. You want to cut the heat right at the end where it's almost melted. You don't want it to be liquefied. You know, you want it nice and thick. Good texture. Pour that over our chicken here. Looks good, man. Yeah. Try it out. Let's give it a shot. Like I said, I did mine over rice and beans, but it don't matter, you know, whatever whatever starch mm. you like. Super tender, super tasty. Right on. Let's try it with the pasta. I like the tartness. You know, people who drink alcohol that don't want to drink alcohol, don't worry about it because the alcohol all cooks off. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to get drunk off it. You taste the flavor of the remnants, you know? Mm -hmm.
Bob, don't get don't get don't get nervous, Bob. <laughs> get a little taste so. of this. <laughs> mhm. Right on. There you have it. Killed on chicken. Nice, Tommy. One of Tommy's first recipes here. Daddy Jack's going with the blues. I'm not supposed to talk with their mouth open. Excuse me. But anyway, hope you enjoy this. Tommy, thank you for the recipe. You're welcome. Tom Walters in the house. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, adios, amigos. <laughs> Amigas. <laughs>